we become what we think about. Now, this isn't exactly a revolutionary idea, but I think it is very powerful if applied correctly. Now, if you go to any, just go to the bookstore and go to the self-help section and just read a random book, I'm pretty sure it'll say something along the lines of we become what we think about. This has been talked about first sent, hold on, hold on, wait, hold up. Let me rewind it to the beginning. Um, this idea has been talked about in the Bible, in all kinds of religious texts. Marcus Aurelius, shout out to Marcus, by the way. He said a man's life is what, what his thoughts make of it. I mean, you know, this idea has been around. So, whether you believe it or not, I'm going to be telling you guys why it works, okay? That's what this video is for. Why we become what we think about. And I will be using the example that I was taught with because I feel like it is the simplest and easiest explanation for most people to understand. And that is, let's say you have a piece of land, right? A piece of farmland. And it's good. It's fertile land. It's very healthy land. And in one hand, you have seeds of corn. And in the other hand, you have seeds of nightshade, which is a poison. Now, let's say you plant corn and nightshade into the land any water and take care of the plants, what do you think is going to happen? Obviously, the land is going to return to you exactly what you plant. The land doesn't care what you plant. It will return to you exactly what you plant as long as you take care of it and nurture it. Now, here is the key to this, and that is the human mind is a lot like the land, except the human mind is probably, I mean, the human mind is much more interesting than farmland, let's be honest. And the human mind is much more powerful than any type of farmland. So, thoughts are kind of like seeds and, you know, whatever thoughts occupy your mind, whatever thoughts you're sowing into your mind, um, your mind has no choice but to return those thoughts that you've planted into yourself. And the mind has no discernment whether those thoughts are good, bad, it's indifferent. It will return to you exactly what you plant in it and think about constantly. So that is the example that I was taught with, and I hope this is helpful to somebody. Thank you.